Hi. Today, I'm gonna talk about Japanese parental adoption problem. In Japanese, up to now, parental abduction is not illegal. So, and uh, in Japan, we only have a sole custody after divorcing. So we have a lot of trouble when we divorce. A lot of cases happen like this. Uh, most of the cases are women. Uh, most of the cases, women initiate this confusion. Sometimes, may men do this. So I'll illustrate a typical example. When wife want to divorce his wife, his husband, uh, her husband, and if they have a child, then in Japan we only have a sole custody. So child should after divorcing, child should be belong should belong only one parent, father or mother. So mother, a typical case is mother abduct child one day without noticing to his, to her husband and gone away. Even if they are still marriage state, even if they have not yet divorced, then further, further, no, after further came back home and he noticed room is empty and his wife and his child or children disappear. After that, but first abduction is not illegal in Japan, very curiously. But second abduction, uh, in this case, if this father try to take her child from his wife's house, then he may be arrested as a kidnapper. It's very curious. It's because the first abduction by wife is allowed, but the second abduction by his father is not allowed and would be arrested by police. So, in Japan, very curiously, if you ab abduct child firstly, you can get sole custody. Usually, even if 
uh, abandon father, separate father, uh, go to court, and claim his custody. But usually, in most cases, court did not take his demand. Goes court, Japanese court value the current status. Me, I mean, child is already with her mother in separate house, so the mother who abduct child, the child win this game but i illustrate this example as a woman abduct the child but opposite case also exist i mean father abduct his child and mother cannot see her baby or her child Never again. So in Japan, as a summary, in Japan we have two problems. One problem is sole custody. In advanced country, only Japan use sole custody while the other advanced country they use mutual custody the second problem is abduction problem the first abduction of the family member is allowed and is not illegal this is a big problem at the same time it's very curiously the second abduction by the opposite side is illegal and be arrested thinking carefully it's very very curious but in Japan this is the real This is what happened in Japan. Thank you for watching this video.